Let's be real here. So the Dallas Mavericks' performance against the Houston Rockets was nothing short of a disgrace. This wasn't a hard-fought, nail-biting battle. It was a total beatdown that exposed Dallas for what they've been for way too long. A soft team that doesn't seem to care enough about the dirty work to get serious wins. 18 offensive rebounds. 18. This is the NBA, and that number is laughable and unacceptable. You can blame foul trouble or say Maxi Kleber's absence hurt, but guess what? That's all noise. This was a test of grit, and Dallas failed it spectacularly. The Rockets haven't been a team anyone fears for years, yet they walked all over Dallas, especially under the rim. What are we supposed to believe about this team if they can't even rebound against Houston? Are we really expecting Dallas to compete against the league's elite if they're getting manhandled by a team that's barely done rebuilding? It's hard to have any faith in a roster that allows itself to get shoved around without so much as a whimper. Let's talk about Luka Doncic. He's supposed to be the heartbeat of this team, and yet here he is with five rebounds. Five, that's less than Kyrie Irving, who, by the way, showed way more hustle than half the roster, hauling in eight boards like he was the only one who cared. This isn't just a rebounding problem. It's it's a heart problem. Derek Lively, I, I the rookie, big man who's supposedly going to help on defense, got himself in foul trouble and played 15 minutes. And Daniel Gafford, just two rebounds. If these are the guys Dallas is banking on to fix their defense and rebounding issues, they need to wake up. You don't win games with 15 minutes of effort and two rebounds from your bigs. This is basic stuff, yet here they are getting out-rebounded 50-37 by a Houston squad that doesn't even have a dominant front court. The Mavs were supposed to bring in guys like Lively and Gafford to keep teams off the glass, yet here we are watching Dallas get absolutely bullied in their own house. What makes this even worse is that Houston wasn't exactly lighting it up on offense. They shot only 41.2 from the field. The Rockets didn't beat Dallas with incredible shooting or stellar playmaking. They beat Dallas because they simply wanted it more. Time and time again, the Rockets would miss, crash the boards, and scoop up their own misses like Dallas didn't even exist. It was like watching a varsity team play against the JV squad. The lack of effort, the laziness, the complete inability to box out. It's shocking. And every Mavericks fan watching had to be wondering if this team is even taking itself seriously. And let's not sugarcoat it. Maxi Kleber's injury might be tough, but it's not an excuse. Even with Kleber out, Dallas has enough bodies to make sure Houston doesn't embarrass them on the boards. They had the size, they had the players, they just didn't show up with the effort. This isn't about talent. It's about playing like you care. The Mavs went down by 22 at one point, a 22 point hole against Houston. Are you kidding me? They managed to claw their way back a little, but by then it was too late. The Rockets hustle had already won them the game. Look, if Dallas wants to be taken seriously in this league, they better get their act together fast. This is the kind of performance that leaves a stain, and it's not one that washes out easily. Mavs fans deserve a team that fights for every possession, not one that rolls over the second they're down by a few points. It's early in the season, but this game should be a wake-up call. Every Maverick on that floor needs to take a long, hard look in the mirror because if they think this was just an unlucky loss, they're deluding themselves. Dallas can't afford to be this soft, not if they want to compete in the Western Conference. The Rockets came in and slapped them around, plain and simple. The Mavericks need to find some grit, find some heart, and for the love of everything, learn to box out. If they can't figure that out, this season is going to be a long, disappointing ride, and the fans who actually care, they'll have every reason to be furious.